Okay, so uh, I've been having a lot of back problems recently. So recently I went to the doctor and they sent me to get x-rays on my back. Now, those of you who have been following me on YouTube for almost a decade now, uh, one of my earliest videos, uh, when I started doing videos, I had torn my bicep and I had some x-rays done then, some other scans and stuff like that. And, um, and I was very new to Linux at the time, but I was able to find software that uh, allowed me to view x-rays and other medical imaging. Uh, so when I got my x-ray done, uh, if, if you ever get an x-ray done, you just say to the person taking the x-ray, hey, can I get a copy on disk? Normally they'll say yes and they'll just give you a CD. So uh, I picked up the CD today and uh, let's go ahead and have a look at it. Uh, it's a paper here with a bunch of personal information on there about me. I will show you that. And then we got a disk here from the NCH Healthcare System, Naples, Florida. Uh, very generic, very generic CD here. Uh, it just says, you know, the version of the medical equipment being used, the date, my name, my birth date, and what was scanned and what date it was scanned. So let's go ahead and pop this in my CD drive. I do still have one of those, external, but it's there. We'll go ahead and put that in. And I will mount that sudo mount device CD ROM. And we'll mount it to MNT. Okay, mounted. <laughs> CDs take a little while to spin. I hate CDs. Okay, uh, so here is uh, my manager here, my file manager. Let's just quickly look at it this way. Oh, what am I doing? MNT. So you can see here that there is, um, it looks like they have, already have software on there for a viewer and stuff like that, but obviously it's it's, it's Windows only software, uh, which doesn't help us and it's proprietary software. So why would you want to use it anyway? They even have like a little help manual here. Let's see, a little PDF. Uh, yeah, it's just like, looks like it's on using the software and equipment to make the CDs, I guess. Anyway. So, uh, the, does it say here? So, so, um, imaging, medical imaging, uh, the, the files are called DICOM files. Ah, I forget digital imaging something. Let's, let's, let's look that up real quick. Let's bring a web browser over here. DICOM image and Wikipedia here says digital imaging and communications in medicine uh, and they can be different formats different settings you know whether it's a a x-ray or a um, like cat scan or something like that i assume uh, so here are a lot of just software stuff uh, a viewer another viewer in here uh, and then we got images and image or img img Loading again, waiting for the CD spin. Looks like it's just images uh, for the software again. Uh, images. Okay, yeah, this is looking more like. So you can see my computer seems to know this is an image. It gives it a thumbnail like it's an image. But if I try opening it up with a regular image viewer, it's it's probably not going to open it. Uh, so let's go ahead and close that. That's under the images folder on there. Um, so. Uh, what I want to do now is install the software uh, that that I used last time to view them. So let me go ahead and do that. And I will open up, whoops. I'll launch my web browser here. Here we go. That was not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. Uh, and let's just go to filmsbychris.com. Goes here, goes search bar, and I'll type in x-ray, nothing, x dash. Oh, I can already see it right there, ray, okay. So I click on this from, let's see, what date was this? 09, yep, that's when I tore my bicep, was September of 09. Uh, so there we go, and if I scroll through here, we can look at the video here. Medcon. Medcon is the name of the software. So let's go ahead. We will pause that video and get it out of the way. And I will aptitude search uh, Medcon. 
and it looks like we have two packages, MedCon and an X-MedCon. I'm assuming X-MedCon looks as probably what I was using in the video, which is obviously it starts with an X, so it's going to be a graphical interface. Let's install both. sudo apt install MedCon X-MedCon. Also, I'm going to copy the files off the CD to, because I'm going to want to convert them and I just easier to do that in the same directory. If it's on a CD, obviously the CD is not uh, uh, writable at this point. So we're going to go, I'm just going to put it in a temp folder for now. Make dir, I'll call it x-rays. Move into that directory. And I will copy recursively from MMT images. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Eh, if I could type today. Uh, yeah, everything in there to here. Give that a second. Again, the CD has to spin up. I hate CDs. Did I say that already? Uh, da, da, da. They are amazing technology 20 years ago. Even even maybe 10 years ago. Wow. And this is not a slow... What is taking it so long? I have no clue. We'll just wait. <laughs> well, maybe it's copy. Maybe, uh, they shouldn't be very large files. Basically, they're basically images, but with embedded information about how they were taken. Okay. What? Oh, there we go. Finally. There we go. And let's just move into the subdirectories here. We'll go to this one, the first one here. There's a file. Again, if I try to display this with display, it's probably just going to give me... Oh! Looks like uh, Image Magic opens it. I don't know if that's... Uh, if it's because Medcom's installed. Let's, let's go ahead and escape out of that. Let me sudo apt remove medcon and x because I have had where image magic will know to use a certain program if it's installed so let's remove those and try displaying that again because that's super simple you don't even have to worry about uh, uh, installing x medcon display oh it still opened it well just for some reason if you don't have image magic available which you do it's a very standard package um, let's see let me move around here okay Close that. Let's reinstall uh, MedCom and XMedCom just to just to have a look at them because that's what I was going to do this video on. So we'll install them. Last time I used XMedCom, but if we can do it from the, the shell and just convert it, that'd be awesome. So uh, let's just real quick uh, man MedCon and just uh, look through here real quick. Let's go to the end and see. Ah, good. Good man pages always have examples. So here are some examples here to display the image header, medcon-f in the name of the files to convert the images. Uh, it's medcon-f name of the files, dash C, probably for convert. Uh, in this case, it's giving an example of a GIF or a GIF, however you say it, and then some other information after that. So let's go ahead and, and start with uh, this first one, just remember dash F. Okay, so quit out of that. I will say medcon-f and the name of the file. Go ahead, do that. And yeah, let's less that out. So you can see it's actually giving a bunch of information on like basically the settings of the machine and the patient name and birth date and stuff like that. A lot of stuff that means nothing to me, but if you're in a medical profession and you want to know how the image was taken, the settings, just like when you take a picture with a nice camera or even your, your cell phone, uh, their the image has embedded information on, in some cases, the GPS location, what the aperture was set to, what type of lens was being used, stuff like that. But this is for the x-ray machine. Uh, so let's go back into the man file and go down to the end here again and look at the example for converting uh, the images. Oops, did not mean to do that. I'm not. Exit out of that. Actually, just close that window. Okay. Copy this, quit out of that, paste that, but I'll replace files one and two. And it seems like they put, uh, they did three different angles of my back and they put it in different folders. So I'm just going to do the one from this folder, do that. Uh, and it says it could not open the file. Do, 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 I wonder if, let's do this. Let's just copy this file to temp x-rays and move into that folder. Because possibly I copied these folders over so they might still have 
read-only permissions, I'm guessing. Let's try running this again. There we go, no problem that time. It made a couple of files. These other files probably have, again, the information out, but you can see it created a GIF file there. And if I say display, I can display that image. Or actually, let's use uh, Feh, F E H, however you say that. Uh, let's use that as a viewer right now. There we go. Looking around at my spine. That's my spine, people. It hurts right around here. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's let's uh, copy uh, from here. We'll do this file to here, but we'll recall it. We'll just call it two. And we will do the same for the one in this folder. It's kind of annoying that they put them each in a separate folder and the files are named the same, but in the separate folders. So I should be able to run this command, but give it the files I just copied, which I named two and three, with no file extension. And there we go. Now I list it out, and it looks like I have uh, this GIF and this GIF. Let's just do <laughs> again. <laughs> and there we go. Yep, that's my. Spine from the side. Can we shrink that down. Oh, or whatever. Uh, and we will do it with zero zero dash two is the other one looks like. There we go. So anyway, thank you for looking at my spine. I guess this is the left side. It's probably what that L stands for. Real quick, let's look at um, XMedCon because why not? Uh, xmedcon, and I'm going to bet if I do the same command, I'm sure if I open this up, I can go file, open, open the file, but let's see, we can check the man file, but I'm going to guess that it runs similar, so I should be able to give it either just the file name or, you know, dash f in the file name, so let's do dash f in the file name, since that's the way the uh, shell command works, and sure enough, there is my Mac, and it by default has a little slider here for like brightness and contrast, if I remember correctly. There's somewhere you can go into settings and do different colors for that, but uh, that's it. Yeah, so that was fun. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, if you uh, ever get x rays or cat scans, or you know, I, I should ask my dentist, I feel like somewhere I have one set of you know, every two years they do x rays of your teeth. I feel like I have one year, I should ask for the other ones from my dentist, which actually brings up something. Uh, when I'm sitting in the dental dentist chair and they're doing my cleaning and they have a screen up there where they're looking at teeth, uh, the name of the program they're using was like open something or other. So I Google it and it actually is, they're using an open source program. It's not, a, I don't think it was a GPL, um, but it was cool that it was open source software at least that the, the dentist office is using. Um, and I think the way, uh, I can't wish I can remember the name of the software now, it's one of those, you know, it's owned by a corporation, they provide support and the hardware to go with it, but the software itself uh, is open source, which is just awesome. And I'm, I'm betting the dentist doesn't even know, you know, it's like, you just, you're using good software, you don't even know it, you know, you're just doing whatever the company tells you. So that just goes to show you, it's like, there's no reason companies can't open source, open sourcing your software doesn't mean you can't uh, make money off of it especially if you're using a GPL. If you're using something else like a BSD license or something like that that allows relicensing, um, you know, they can, other companies can take your software, add to it, and close off what they add to, and and you don't get anything back. But at least with a GPL license, uh, they're required to, if they're disputing that software, they have to give back. So any changes they make, you benefit from, where with a BSD license, a company could take what your work and use your work but not give anything back to you. So it's like, a lot of companies like BSD licenses because they can do that, you know, and a lot of people don't realize that. They're like, oh, well, I use a BSD license because it's it's uh, better for commercial use. Yeah, it's better for the companies to take your work and you not getting anything in return. A GPL license protects you that way. They're free to use it however they want. They're not, they don't have to pay you, you know, it's great if they do. But at the very least, when they make modifications, uh, if they distribute that at all, they have to share that that source code back, uh, which just helps your project grow. So anything they improve on, you get the improvements as well, and anybody else who wants to work on the software. Um, so let's see what is next. Uh,